It's week eight of the NFL, and we'll see the Bears' veteran linebacker. He was terrific defensively last week with 11 tackles. It's the Bears and the Cowboys coming up next. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here between the Chicago Bears and the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Gaud alongside Charles Davis. Uh, CD, you look at the Cowboys in this matchup. They know coming in, they've got to be at their best because they're facing one of the better overall defenses in the NFL. And this is not one of the better offenses around in terms of running the football. So they understand that they're going to be put to the test a bit. The big plays in the run game, they haven't been there of late. So maybe that means we'll see them shake things up a little bit. Some RPOs, some touch passes, some draw plays, anything to try and gain a little bit of momentum. toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Dak Prescott and Dallas taking the field for their first possession. Dak now in his seventh season in charge of the Cowboys. Two-time Pro Bowler. And you and I both know that any win is a good win. And that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an interception. Pick. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. the 30 second down coming up the numbers for Zeke from last week 19 carries 62 yards and a touchdown there were some signs of life from their ground game last week but overall just a so-so performance everyone knows they can make a slight improvement how they contribute to this aspect of the offense Lyman can set their blocks and hold them a little bit longer and he can be quicker to the hole and hit a lane if they do that they should get some better numbers produced this week. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Here's Prescott. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. The Cowboys at three and four on the year coming into play. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind and the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. And I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. Prescott on first down. That'll be taken in there by James Washington. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Here 
And again, it's Prescott. That's going to be caught. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. That one goes for 24 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Now Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jalen Tolbert, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes versus air. You just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his game there for drive number one, but my only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15 for 15, and he feels like he can get it done. So this drive spans seven plays, and it was finished off by a Jalen Tolbert touchdown grab. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. The Chicago's offense running out and something they hope to see for years and years to come. Second year pro Justin Fields leading the way. I think his task in this game is really simple. Eliminate the turnovers. He threw two interceptions last week. I can't believe I led with that because he had three touchdown passes. Right, right. So there's a lot of good that he did. But he's got to take care of the ball better. The ball has to go to guys wearing the jerseys that they're wearing this week, not the opposition. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The numbers on the ground for Montgomery in last week's affair. 11 carries, 106 yardage-wise, and the score as well. And the way they ran the ball last week's game has to be satisfying to their entire staff because they're seeing not just a back gain big yardage, but they're seeing an offensive line really in sync. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Draw play, Fields gives to Montgomery, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, in their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time, when you do it consistently, usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they were terrific a week ago in that win over Detroit. And one of the key numbers that I look at after every game, total yards allowed. They held them under 200 yards of total offense, just couldn't sustain much of anything against them. Great job showing them different looks and then attacking. Meanwhile, Fields throw caught by Sanders. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Fields leaving it with Montgomery here on the option. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. 
After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they've got it second and seven. Now Montgomery running right. And some space here. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 41 yards rushing so far, and this is just their first possession. And they've got a new set of downs here. Going up the gun, Montgomery. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. To throw his fields. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. The fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Dak Prescott on the offense heading back onto the field. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they got to push off at the end of a round two. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Prescott to throw it. And, it. and he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And his crew will take over at their own 45 yard line. These defenses have become so opportunistic, and no matter what you're playing, in this case wide receiver, you got to be careful. You certainly do, because there is a phrase in today's football that we use all the time, completing the process of the catch. Well, it's after you do that where the trouble begins, right? Meaning you've tucked it away, you're trying to get downfield, but someone's always coming up trying to rake in the ball and knock it free. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And yeah, they dipped a game below 500 following the loss last week. And you get the sense that maybe this team's at a little bit of a crossroads here. 
Yeah, I think that's a really good way to put it because what's that old ballot prop? If you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> because this group, they're losing ground fast. They've got to start winning some ball games. And the good teams, they're starting to separate themselves, and these guys are being left behind. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Fields. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. So here are the Cowboys to take over. Last week, good result. They were able to beat the Detroit Lions, and now they are on the good side of the scoreboard right now as well. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. A uh, quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. On third down, it's Prescott. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and the Bears take over. David Montgomery ready to take the field for the Bears' next possession. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season, and given that, you'd have to think he's on pace for a 1,000-yard campaign. Steady as he goes, steady goes the offense, but you know what else is happening, too, because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. You've got to be able to throw it better now, right? Better throwing lanes, better opportunities for the guys downfield, maybe more one-on-one -on -one coverage, which you should be able to beat easier. Yeah, he's, he's establishing not just a tone, but an identity for his team. And that's a discussion we had a couple days ago in the team meetings, talking about this running game opening up the passing game. We'll see if that continues to happen. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Now Fields. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Fields on third down. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. Now it's Fields. And incomplete on the deep ball. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Fields throw taken in by Pringle. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. A shotgun snap, Fields. Completes it to Miller. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Running for it, Montgomery. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. 
And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Prescott looks to throw on first. He's got his man, Schultz, coming across the formation. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first and ten, Prescott. Time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Blowing that play up, Roquan Smith as he gets the sack. After the sack on first down, Prescott. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes. You can read his hands. And you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. The kick by Maher is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, good work in that first half. More from you guys in a minute. But first, let's get to some scores right here on the day before Halloween. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. And they are nearing halftime with the Steelers out in front. Mitchell Trubisky has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, let's head over to Minneapolis to check on the Vikings at home at U.S. Bank Stadium. And this one going the visitor's way as the Cardinals have the lead in that one. A touchdown run for James Conner. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And for the moment, they find themselves trailing the visiting Carolina Panthers. D.J. Moore. Over 100 yards receiving and a touchdown catch as well. Moving on, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Bears. And they were able to have a little bit of success on the ground. The question will be, will they stick with it? Or will they be throwing more to try and regain this lead? Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they did even less on the ground as they've struggled to get the run game going. Both teams making their final preparations for the second half of action. So with that, let's get you back out to Arlington, where we rejoin Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. And some more great football coming your way in prime time to wrap up the month of October. It starts tonight. Could it be a Super Bowl preview? The Packers and Bills from Buffalo at 820 Eastern. And then tomorrow, Halloween night, Monday night football, the Bengals and Browns from Cleveland. And how this game has changed in importance in recent years. That starts at 8.15 Eastern. Third quarter starting with a run from Montgomery. And he stopped immediately there. Demarcus Lawrence hit on the tackle. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, that was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Fields. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. 
They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Fields. It's complete, it's Miller. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up the fourth down. Here's Paladano now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. 35 yards that time on the punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. On first down, Fields. Oh, going for Sanders downfield. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover or put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Fields now to throw. The Sanders has got it complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 24-yard line. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 58 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 
11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third. Back now in Arlington. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Montgomery trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. This Cowboy defense trying to hold him out of the end zone. They've run it to third and goal. Once more Montgomery. And this time he's not going anywhere. In fact, he'll lose yardage back to the three. He lost two and it brings up four. That was a huge play on third down. So now what? Do you go for it? Do you trust your offense? Or do you want to play on your defense to try and get the ball back? Me? I'm going for it right here. Down. Fields has to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. An incompletion there on fourth and goal from the three. And this Cowboy defense comes up with a goal line stand. So they finally get their first trip to the red zone, and it ends with nothing. And that's what I'm going to focus on with you, because you teed it up really well. Finally get to the red zone. So there's got to be a little bit of frustration, because they haven't moved the ball as well as they wanted to all game. Now they get there, but we got to go for it, because we don't know if we can get back here again. We don't know how many opportunities, because they've been sputtering a little bit. Absolutely. At this stage in the second half, to get there and not get it for the first time, tough. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back and tell him to take care of the ball and try to move forward. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And defensively, they were in zone covers there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. That one complete, Elliott. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. the gun it's Elliott and he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49 yard line 52 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries Denver. 
fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get your reset. We're not totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. So fresh out of the two minute warning and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A first down carry by Elliott. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Shotgun again to Elliott. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football. I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. And inches. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. a keeper with Prescott. Yeah, boy, that's going to be close. He didn't get much at all there, but he got the first. Looked like they might have held him defensively, but the referee signals it will be a first down. First down. Kind of a strange ball game, Charles. We did not have a single point by either team after half. A really a defensive clinic by both sides in half number two. Wasn't that just beautiful to watch? Come on, man. Come on to the dark side with me. Wasn't that fun to see these defenses holding sway, right? Making sure they're controlling the game in the second half. It lets you know that you've got to score points when you can. You never know when offenses might go a little bit dry and you need those points from earlier. So for Dallas, they're back to 500 as they move to 4-4 four and four on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they fall two games under 500 now at 3-5. and five. And they will be at home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins.